Hi all and welcome to Kessler's Photography Tutorials. This is my very first tutorial and hopefully a long range of tutorials to come. In this first tutorial I will show you my basic workflow that I use daily and will demonstrate it with a picture I took this weekend. By all means this is not my invention, I gathered all the knowledge I have over the internet myself and just want to share them with you in my own way. This technique is what I call the bright eyes technique, it's actually a very simple way to give a little extra pop to your pictures. Enjoy! So as you can see we have a picture here that is a little bit off in white balance. So we're gonna correct the white balance and I do that in Lightroom 2.1. I will zoom in on one of the widest parts of the image and I see it's here in the eyes. It's mostly around in the eyes. If you don't have a very very wide pic uh, place in the eyes you can just click the gray in the eyes and it will give you about the same as the white exactly so I take the eyedropper tool I find the widest part in the image and I click on it as you can see we have a much better white balance now and the colors are much more natural what I will do next I go to Photoshop CS4 where I open my picture I'm creating a duplicate layer there we go I'll make that layer in screen mode and it's way too bright now but no worries that will change in a second I make a mask and I control I to invert the mask so it becomes totally sealed what we do now is simply zoom in on the eyes well because it's a right eyes technique and we are working on the eyes so we zoom in on the eyes I take a brush preferably a small soft brush and I will paint with white on the black mask to reveal what's underneath it and that's the very very bright picture you saw before so here we go we start painting in the eyes it might be a bit sloppy I might not color it right into the borders but hey who cares we just switch from white to black and we conceal it it's simple as that I was never that good at coloring between the lines anyway and just for information purposes I'm using a Wacom tablet I enjoy those because they are really easy to work with and especially in, in Photoshop and Lightroom and where you have to do a lot of retouching work it's a marvelous item to use I'm trying to finish this off a bit faster than I am now you can see that I have passed the borders here but that's just to be sure that I draw everywhere I need to I all I am sorry I keep my alt down and I click on the mask to show the mask as you can see I have left a little spot of black here so I just paint it in with white again I'm gonna leave it this way for now I'm just gonna hold alt again or option on the Mac and I click on the mask again and we switch over to the next eye and here we do the same again we just draw in the white of the eyes and again we are not gonna look to stay between the lines we are just drawing in the eyes and we will correct that in just a second and again I'm gonna hold alt or option on the Mac and click on my mask to show the mask and draw in where I didn't do it right the first time we click again 
and now we're gonna switch with the X key with foreground back to black and we're gonna try to conceal where we didn't draw pretty good the first time I'm doing this as fast as possible so not to make it too boring for you you can take your time take as many times as you want and have this as perfect as you want but I'm just showing you the technique I'm not making an artwork here am I back over to the other eye and I will do the same here just draw black over the white so it conceals again here we go it's not everywhere perfectly done I know that but again I'm not trying to put too much time in it I'm just showing a technique if it was for everyday use and I had to give this picture to a client I would take a lot more time to do this and maybe I would even mask off the eye <coughs> just to show you here we go we're gonna zoom back out again and check what we got as a result as you can see the eyes are way over bright now but that's beautiful because we have the opacity slider here we go back to zero as you can see it's very very dark and we open it up a little bit usually at around about 40 to 50 percent is what I use 43 will do pretty good here and when I click off the mask you can see a pretty pretty big difference here now there is a little add to this what I would do as well I'm just for showing you this I'm just gonna merge those layers I'm gonna create a new duplicate layer I'm gonna open up again to the eyes what I would do for for example a model shoot where the eyes are very important and if she's wearing a lot of makeup you really want those eyes to pop up what I would do is I would take a multiply so I would copy the layer I would use multiply or you could use overlay as well that's your own choice and again I will create a new mask it's black so control I to invert it to make everything appear normal again and again with the white brush we are gonna paint not in the eye but around the iris of the eye depending on the size of your picture of course you will adjust your own brush I click X to invert my colors and around the iris here I will draw a small small line my Wacom tablet is acting up pretty weird at the moment but I think that's because I'm using different resolutions than normal so this is a little bit sloppy and I'm sorry for that but again it's just to show you the technique and what it does in your picture I'm gonna switch again to black to conceal what I have done wrong here and that's a little bit too much as you can see and here as well but I'm still getting used to the Wacom as well and also a little thing to add is I think because of the program I'm using Camtasia normally you should have a perfect size of your screen when using the Wacom tablet and here it doesn't do that so I'm just do one eye so you can see the difference I'm gonna zoom back out again and of course the opacity is way way too big and I'm gonna go back to around 20 30 percent and just showing you look at the left eye I'm gonna click it off and on again it's very subtle but so significant when you're doing beauty shoots 